Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. And today I'm filming on my iPhone, so I hope it's not too bad quality. I don't actually know what you'll think of the quality, let me know. Um, basically, I really could not be bothered to fill, set up my filming space and everything because I've just finished work. It's Sunday um, about 5 p.m. I think right now. And I've just finished work, it's really, really hot. And I'm gonna have to try and remember to look in the viewfinder, so hopefully I do that and not look at myself, because you know, that's the thing. Um, but yeah, so I am today going to be talking about my Step Right Up A Thon TBR, um, which you may or may not know that um, is a readathon running from the 7th to the 21st of July. And it was created by the wonderful Linda from Linda's World of Books and Nikki from I underscore read past my bedtime. I love both of those girls. I think they're both amazing. And I think it's amazing that they've decided to do a, um, like readathon um because you know and I'll always support my friends and like I said they're both fantastic girls so yeah I really wanted to um sort of shout them out and and do their readathon because also it's an amazing idea so it's basically a readathon based on like circuses and stuff which who doesn't love um and so I have on my computer right over here my I'm also sat in my window right now because uh the windows open and it's warm um but they have five challenges and each challenge has like two different options um and i've picked five books so yeah let's get started so the first sort of two part um prompt is to one um read a book written more than five years ago or you can ride a roller coaster and read a book that will take you for a ride now i decided to start with the first option and that is to read a book that was written at least five years ago for that one i have picked um call for the dead by John Le Carre. This is the first book in quite a long series and I actually received um, one of the later books in the series and I received one of the later books in the series um, from I think it was my chocolate and a book unboxing that I did um, and I actually received the later book from this so I decided to pick up the first book um, online because I wanted to um, check it out. This I think is the first book I don't know too much about this other than it's about like the British Secret Service and I think it's about spies and I'm interested and I haven't read it so um, I haven't read anything like it should I say so I'm actually really excited to give this one a go. Um, like I said this one is quite a short book I think it is like 150 pages or less so this won't take me too long and so hopefully I will be able to read this one really well in the readathon. The second prompt is to either read a book with dragons or to roll the dice and then the number that you roll will tell you the challenge. I did I didn't really have any books of dragons that I wanted to read or I was like really excited to read other than I could reread Harry Potter but I've read that quite a bit and I didn't want to reuse it for this I wanted to read something else on my shelf so I decided to roll the dice I rolled a two so the options for two or four is to read a book off your TBR which is something that I can definitely do and for this one I've decided to read Follow You Home by Mark Edwards. This is um, a book that I've got on my Kindle and it's been on my Kindle for quite a long time so I did want to get on with it. <laughs> I'm going to read what it says um, off my computer because I don't really know what it's about too much. So it says, It was supposed to be the trip of a lifetime, a final adventure before settling down. After a perfect start, Daniel and Laura's travels end abruptly when they are thrown off a night train in the middle of nowhere. To find their way back to civilization, they must hike along the tracks through a forest, a haunting journey that adds in un ends in unimaginable terror. Back in London, Daniel and Laura vow never to talk about what they saw that night, but as they try to fit back into their old lives, it becomes clear that their nightmare is just beginning. This is um, meant to be a psychological thriller of sorts, and you know, that's really my vibe, like I'm happy to read that kind of thing. So yeah, definitely looking forward to reading this one. It's quite a bigger book, it's 400 pages, but I feel like it's on my Kindle and I do tend to read on my Kindle much faster, so hopefully this is another one that I can easily read in the two weeks. Option three was to to read um, either read a classic or choose your fate by picking a card now again I didn't really have any classics that I really wanted to read right now so I thought I would choose my fate and you have to pick between the ace of spades and the queen of hearts I choose the ace of spades and the question is to read a book with a warrior or a fight so I've kind of interpreted this in my own way I suppose um, and I have decided to read Bitten by Kelly Armstrong this is actually quite a big book I think it's like 450 pages which actually isn't that big I thought it was bigger um, I did I know the writing in this though is really small and I have have tried to read this um, before and I just didn't finish it like, I think I read like 100 pages of it and I was enjoying it I just for some reason didn't continue to pick it up this follows Elena Michaels who is a werewolf and she's the only female werewolf in her pack and it's kind of about them it's about her pack being in trouble and her essentially having to look after them and figure out what to do and um, although this is not like a typical warrior I think she's a 
pretty badass warrior if I'm totally honest so yeah I'm really looking forward to being able to finally say I've read this because like I said I read 100 pages or so and I did really enjoy it but for some reason I just hadn't got around to picking it up again so definitely excited to finally get to it. Question four is um, to read a book with illustrations or snack time pick candy apple or candy floss. I decided that I was going to read a book with illustrations and for that one I have one that I actually re relatively recently bought from a charity shop and I really wanted to get to it quite quickly and that one is more words things that customers say in bookshops by Jen Campbell who is a booktuber also. I This again is really short it's um, like 120 pages long and there are some really fun like illustrations throughout so I thought this could be quite a good one I think it's quite anecdotal I don't think it's going to take me ages to read. You also may or may not know but I've decided that I want to take part in the Newt's Readathon in August so throughout the month of July I'm trying to read all of the owls um, from the Magical Readathon that was taking place in April I think and I didn't take part in that but I want to do the owls before I read the ones for the Newt's basically. So this is actually the book that I'm going to be reading for Care of Magical Creatures which is my land animal on the cover and it has a baboon right here. Um, so yeah I'm going to kind of tie this into my other readathon as well uh, because if you didn't know I've worked out that this month I have to read about 18 books in order to do all of the readathons that I'm doing and all the buddy reads so I'm quite excited and I think this one is going to be a really fun read as well and I can't wait to look at the illustrations while I read it and the final question is to read a book with royals or to read the group book the group book is Pages and Co by Anna James which I do not actually own a copy of and I couldn't get from my library so I decided that I was going to do the read a book with royals question and I decided for this one, and I'm really excited about this, I'm going to read The Elite by Kira Cass, which is the second book in the selection series. I enjoyed the selection a lot and I just want to continue on the series. I think I read it at the beginning of the year, I want to say. I was at the end of last year, I can't actually remember. And I've had this on my shelf and I just really want to read it. <laughs> this follows America Singer who ends up in some kind of competition where she um, is trying to win the heart of the prince and, I mean... It's amazing. It's like a dystopian. I heard it mentioned as, was it like The Hunger Games meets um, The Bachelor, which I think is just really fun. I'm also reading The Elite um, for one of the Hogwarts challenges. So I'm reading this for potions and this is for the sequel prompt. So yeah, I'm kind of again hitting two different um, readathons with this one and I can't wait to read it. So they are the five books that I'm planning on reading throughout the two weeks of Step Right Upathon. A massive thank you to both Linda and Nikki for this because I think it's an amazing readathon and I'm really excited about it. Also I would like to shout out for my video shout out this time Simone from the channel Chasing Pages. I think Simone's channel is amazing. I watched her booktube newbie tag and her unpopular opinions tag and I thought both of them were amazing. She's wonderful and definitely go and check her out. Plus she has a great name because uh yeah I'm a fan <laughs> but yeah and that is all from me today give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel down below let me know in the comments down below if you are taking part in the step right up a thon and also if you did the owls for the um Harry Potter magical readathon because are you doing the newts I want to know I'm very excited but I will see you guys in the next video bye guys